this is the hair tutorial we're going to be doing today. This style features a skip over here on the light side and a little bit of a wave over here on the heavy side. So if you'd like to see how to do this 1950s hair tutorial, keep watching. Okay, so let's talk about the setting pattern for today's tutorial. So I've got my bang section off, run, roll them in, uh, you want to do either spun rollers, <coughs> excuse me, you would like to roll them in spun rollers or in standing pin curls and they are rolled away from the face. On this side we have one row, here we got uh, pin curls in alternating directions, this way, that way, this way, and then the rest of the head is pin curled rolling to my face and they start right about here. This is where my first row is. <clears throat> on this side we have a little skip going on so the curls are not uh, rolled all the way right up to the front of my face. They are set back off of the face. So you can see that this area is flat and this is where the curls start. That's going to give us a little skip in the hair. This section here, same as the other side. Start right about here in three rows facing forward. And the back of the hair is rolled in uh, rows of alternating direction. So let's go ahead and take our curls out. Alright, so we're going to start the brush out and we're going to start on the heavy side of the head and I'm just running my fingers through, kind of breaking up the curl, seeing how it's set. I'm going to start just by brushing through a little bit and just kind of starting to work the wave. Now we want the wave to start to come forward kind of right past where the bang section is. And the secret really to waves is just to really encourage your hair. Just encourage it to to do the wave. That alternating set setting pattern is going to really help a lot and we're just kind of keeping it in that same vein. Alright, so for my bangs, so this is not bang, here we go. I'm just going to brush back and I'm wrapping it around my thumb, brushing back and kind of aiming away from the part a little bit. And then once I can see that it's starting to get nice height and shape here, I'm going to brush it back over my hand, but the ends I'm going to brush over to the side right in with the rest of my hair. Brushing around and just shaping those ends into that wave. Holding the points of the wave and brushing around just to encourage that hair to go like we want it. Alrighty. Now because I do have shorter bangs, I'm going to hairspray this area really good and clip it just to help encourage the ends to really stay with the rest of the flow of the hair and not kind of go spazzing out wherever they want to. Oops. Oops. I'm going to do one clip right here in the back direction and then one clip over here in the forward direction. I'll just make sure we stay in really good position while that dries. Okay, so now for the other side. I'm just going to break it up and I'm going to break it up back away from my face and that's going to help the skip form. You can already see that the hair wants to go straight back and then do some fluff which is the whole purpose of having a skip. 
Same thing with the brush. The front section I'm kind of just brushing back and further back. Just kind of brushing through a little bit. So we're brushing the hair under in sort of a page boy type shape. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect. We just want to start forming that shape. Now when we get back over to this side, we want to carefully form a shape so that it just works really well with the wave. So I can see the wave wants to come back to about here, and so that's where I'm kind of starting my little page boy bit. If you have any little misbehaving hairs, Kind of right here, I usually do. These ones are super tricky. Just tuck them behind your ear and they'll be good to go. So we can see that we have our skip that's formed and this hair is going to stay back away from the face and you're not even going to need a bobby pin to hold it. No pins. Go ahead and take our clips out of our little wave here. There we go. And then, once you have all your hair cooperating like you like it, time for some hairspray. Then, once I've sprayed, I like to take my comb and kind of very gently comb through just the section of the hair that I want to be smooth. If you comb through the section that we've already um, done up in the page boy or part of the wave, you're going to start to break those curls up and get just the big mess of fluff. So, there you go. Here is our little hairstyle for today.